When you have a subscription for the pro version of any plugin at Aledia.com, you'll be able to download the pro version. I've already done that. So let's go ahead and install the pro version. Same as before, choose the file and grab the pro version. And the plugin was installed successfully. When you install any of Aledia's Pro versions, you'll need to update your license key. If this is the first time you're installing a Pro version, you'll need to insert your license key. If you don't remember it, you can click on that link and it will take you to your Aledia.com account where you can log in and get it. I'm going to save my license key and head over to the plugin manager. And you'll note that now OS YouTube is the Pro version and I have a lot more options here. Just so we can see how they work, I'm going to turn them all off, change it to a light theme, change the scroll bar color, hide the controls after the video begins. And this is something I usually would leave as it is. From auto, I can always have it as a flash player, but of course that would disable it on most mobile browsers. Let's click Save and Close and head back over to our home page and hit Refresh. Because I turned off Responsive, you'll see now that the actual width and height are controlled by my plugin. I'm going to go back and change that back and leave it as Responsive because that just doesn't look quite as nice now, does it? Hit Refresh again and now we're back to our full responsive layout which takes up 100% of the width available to it. You'll also notice that all the controls are hidden. However, the YouTube branding is still there. When I hit play, again, I have no controls here, which is what the plugin parameters allow us to set. So the pro version adds all of those features, which I can turn on or off at will. And so that's a quick overview of the pro version of OS YouTube.